Hello and welcome to Down the Vent. My name's Joe, and today we're taking a look at one of the most terrifying and horrific spine-tingling games in the history of board games. Bugs in the Kitchen. Ugh. No. No, it's happening again. They're everywhere. Why? Why? Let's check it out. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at how to play Bugs in the Kitchen. The first thing I wanted to show you is how hard it is to set up this game. You take the box off, take the instructions out of the way, move all these tokens out. If you're playing with uh, less players, you'll put these little slots in so that way it blocks off a couple of the paths. And uh, you take the bug out, it's the die, and you put them in the middle. You're ready to go. That's it. It takes so little time to set this game up. I love it. it it's easy. I don't have to worry about a 15 minute setup or making sure I read all the rules properly again and again because it's just easy to learn. There are a few different patterns that you can actually uh, set up with the forks and spoons and knives to uh, make different types of paths for the bug to, have to, to solve or for you to solve to get the bug into your trap. And that's it. You're ready to play. So let's go ahead and look at how turns go. So the goal of the game to win is to get five bug tokens, like these, the cockroach tokens. He looks so happy here, not so happy in real life. So you get one token every time the bug goes into your trap. How do you get the bug into your trap? Well, the youngest player will go first. They actually get to turn the bug on because that's fun. And he starts going. And as you can see, the board looks dirty. No, let's get closer up there. It's just the filthy looking board. That's how they designed it. It's clever. Um, and then the youngest player goes. They start by rolling the die, and they get either a spoon, a question mark, a fork, or a knife. Question mark, you get to choose any of the three. Otherwise, you have to uh, turn one of the ones that you got there. So, um, he got the spoon, so we're going to go ahead and turn this one there. And as you can see, the bug takes off. And you always turn them 90 degrees. So then it goes to the next player. Oh, I get a question mark, so I can open up any. Well, I'm going to start getting the bug ready to go to my trap. Because that's my trap right there, the sardines. And uh, that's my turn. Pass the die back. Oh, question mark. He gets to make one here. So he's going to do this way. Trying to open it up to make get the bug closer. I got a spoon here. So go ahead and close that off to get the bug going there. And then it's back to the other player's turn. He got a spoon. He wants to open it up so the bug can get to his. And Oh, no! The bug's trapped on the bottom half of the board now. Oh, jeez, here we go. Back to me, hoping for a question mark so I can open up my part of the board. I don't know if that actually worked or not, but we'll see. Uh, another question mark. Well, he doesn't want the bug to go backwards, so he's going to block him off there. Oh, and he gets uh, goes in there. So the player with the chocolate will actually get uh, one of the coins, the tokens, and then you just set up the board back the way it was. Let's see if I can remember here. Probably not. There we go. There we go. The board's ready to go. You'll go ahead and put the bug back in the middle, turn it back on, and then it's another race. The rules do state that you cannot take too long on your turn, so if you roll it, you can't sit there and wait and wait and wait, hoping that the bug just goes into your thing. You have to turn one and then pass it to the next player so they can get their turn and uh, keep the bug moving, keep the, the utensils moving. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you play. You just go back and forth, roll and die little bit of luck with where the bug goes and a uh, little bit of strategy with figuring out how to open up a path to your trap the best way. So let's go ahead and head up and see what I think about bugs in the kitchen. Alright, so what do I think about bugs in the kitchen? Um, it's a great fast-paced family game. Like, my six-year-old son loves it. It comes with a little hex bug that, like, just, it's so smart. Like, it does, it, you never know what it's actually going to do. You can try and lead it right to your trap in the kitchen, but nah, nah. Multiple times I had a path right open and it got there. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to go this way. It just turned around and just started going the opposite direction, which my, my son thinks is hilarious. Um, you, you're just rolling the die really quickly and making those like those, those, those quick decisions to which, which fork, knife, or spoon are you going to turn. Um, it, it gets you thinking quickly and 
it, that's good for the kids just to see, like, fork, i got to find a fork. Which fork's going to help me lead this bug to my trap? Because you're essentially solving a maze in real time against up to three other people solving a different maze. It's really interesting. And do you just try to get the bug into your trap? Or do you, if someone opens it up, do you take the time to block theirs? Like It, it poses some interesting decisions for uh, younger children to make. Like, Are they just going to focus on you know, taking care of themselves or they're going to focus on stopping you from winning as well? Um, and you'll, you'll see, they might take some different approaches than what you're thinking they would. So I, I think it's a great little game. It takes like, you, you play to like six points. And that only takes like five, ten minutes to play. Um, but when we got it out, it wasn't just one time playing. It was, okay, again, okay, again, all right, again. Like, it was it was a blast. It's quick. It's easy. It's so much fun. I highly recommend you check out Bugs in the Kitchen just for a fun little, I want to play this with adults and see how mean we get. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. So that's, that's going to be my next step. But, uh, yeah, Bugs in the Kitchen, great game, fun, easy to pick up, easy to teach. Until next time, my name's Joe, and you've been watching Down the Vent. Bye!